Hello. So I've just got to do a quick a little bit about the video that um, you're going to see shortly. So it's about 40 minutes long. It's uh, a long piece because on the 23rd of April this year, 23, was my mum's 90th birthday. And my mum's a really sociable person and she did a lot of um, folk dancing, Scottish dancing, playing music, singing, all sorts uh, when she was younger. And so she invited quite a few of her friends who uh, still perform. Uh, just took a few turns, um, so got a nice buffet of food together and everything to make it a really big celebration for her. So, um, hope you enjoy. And yeah, 90. Hello and good morning everyone. So, today is a very special day for our family. And um, just up quite early and getting ready to go and get everything ready for the party because today is the party for and the day of my mum's 90th birthday. Like, what an achievement is that? So I'll try and do a little bit of filming um, this afternoon when, when we're all there as well. Um, see how it goes, but uh, wish us luck. There's still quite a lot of prep to do. Bye for now. So I'm here at the party venue and there are balloons up. I don't know if you can see them. Down by the gate, so people know there's a party. We have bunting up. Uh, the family are helping with the room prep. So yeah, it's all starting to look like it's going to happen. We have a slight technical hitch, but we're sure it'll be fine. So anyway, I need to go off on an errand. I'll see you all later. Do you want to give me about ten minutes and? I'll this is going to be very quick. Okay, this has to be. Just say hello. Hello, hi everybody. <laughs> this is our chef for the day, the wonderful Barry. Hello, hi. You've met before. Pleased to meet everybody out there. <laughs> He's very busy, so we'll let him crack on. Okay, so I think we're just still getting ready for all the party guests to arrive, and um, this is the lovely Evie that's been helping Barry today. <laughs> and uh, so our last starters, all looking very tasty, getting quite exciting. So, uh, uh, not before, uh, and uh, so that's quite, this is the lovely so Robin Marge, yeah. long, long time friends of my mum. Was it 45 years? Was it yeah. something uh, like that? At least, could be more. <laughs> Probably more. <laughs> 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 and Marge and I used to um, work together as well because it's just we one of those strange, quirky, small little um, things. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> The staff are all looking good. The guests are arriving. We have guests. And we'll uh, have a chat with them in a while. We're just having one or two um, changes of plan on the catering side. Um, but otherwise, we're going to plan. <laughs> Do you want to say hello, Mum? Happy birthday! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mum opening her car. Look at that. Beautiful. How is your starter, Mum? Good. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So we has been very well fed. It's uh, a wee bit more for people with any room at all. For this fantastic spread. Uh, oh, I'll take that off you anyway. Thank you. We'll do that. And proper birthday bombs, look at that. It's going swimmingly, as you would say, Neil. Okay, so, so we're back with Barry now. Barry's done a fantastic job. Thank you very much. Quite... I have a good looking assistant as well. Uh, we do indeed. Who's done a fantastic job too. <laughs> Who's also been. Uh, featuring earlier, but yeah, was, uh, <laughs> thank <That's> you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so just explain to Barry like this is so this is my mum's 90th birthday, which is already quite remarkable, and we have quite a few coincidences in the room of how we all know each other, but that's another story. But another coincidence is going to happen at three o'clock this afternoon. Do you want to tell that's people that's correct? Barry? Everybody's phone right throughout the country will go off, which is a modern way of us practicing in case there was. The unfortunate situation that we were about to go to war or being attacked. I don't think anybody needs to worry right now. This is true, but does it have to happen right in the middle of Mum's 90th birthday party? I Apparently. think it is a national yes. salute to Mother on her 90th. I think so. It was just meant to be, wasn't it? It was meant to be. It what was meant to be for a wonderful lady. But anyway, thank you so much. Thank you. Really done. Honestly, Take care. It's been wonderful. Take care, everybody, and no, we're not going to war today. <laughs> you can carry on and turn your phone off. <laughs> Cheers so. now. <laughs> So, uh, we're all up for four to three o'clock, aren't we? Yeah. Three o'clock, when the whole country celebrates today's birthday. Every single phone goes off, so uh, that's a great tribute. Then, um, I'm, you know, um, wow. Uh, um, connection with Denise goes back such a long way, and I'll just mention one thing, which is stringing and some things, which was uh, really incredible form to family group Denise and Blooming Down with Sandra, uh, late 70s to 90s, it says here. So, uh, good evening. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> just going to pay a couple of pieces through. One of the ones includes a piece of music that was written quite a long time ago. Uh, the Pennington Flash. Oh, yeah. And it was burned. I'm going to play two pieces. Two, one's called Dingle Regatta, and it goes into Pennington Flash. Which is designed to do Which is designed especially, especially yeah. written to match. Mm. Yeah, if I remember how to talk about How many minutes has it to three? You're then very fast. You're all right. You're all right. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs>
description of the story of Robin Hood. It <laughs> was in the forest of Sherwood in the year 1210. Lived a fella by the name of Robin Hood and his band of very merry men. They lived on nuts and berries and occasional spotted deer. Doing the macrobiotic thing and dispensing <laughs> the <blood> cheer. <laughs> The sound of merry laughter echoed through the forest green. There was old Friar Tuck who was down on his luck with Mary and the Acid Queen. <laughs> Said Little John, let's have some mead. Said Robin, what's the point? I'm tired of doing this venison thing. Let's go and roll a joint. <laughs> Just then into the forest came a band of the sheriff's men. Say, hello, 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 and what's all this here then? You'll have to come along with us to the palace of the king. Said Robin, why are you so uptight? I was only doing my thing. <laughs> so Robin made a fond farewell. And to Marion he blew a kiss, and went with certain substances for further analysis. <laughs> the news had travelled far and wide, and the people came to see. For the man who always gave good deals was a great popularity. <laughs> Then Robin came into the hall of Nottingham's terrible king, who said, for years I've been after you, and now you'll bloody well swing. <laughs> but first, before I sentence you, for the evils that you have done, what is this weed you grow in the woods? I think I will try some. <laughs> The minutes passed like hours and the air grew somewhat thick. The sheriff said, well, the colours, man. I was promptly horribly sick. <laughs> so now my story it must end as happily as it began. For Robin deals in the countryside and the sheriff does nothing in <laughs> As in the true folk tradition, we always make a joke out of a very serious subject. What else is today? St George's Day. And there is a jig called St George's Day. Very short, very simple. When can you miss it? So we put it with three other jigs just to make a set. Each one once, I guess, with the pinch. Yeah. yeah. So the other tunes, some of you will know them, Mullen Lord, Fox and Beast, then St George's Day, finishing with Seven Stars. And four bars and in. You can see this is carefully rehearsed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
through um, places like this and, you know, do shows, really. So there was always like, we had different dancers and we always had costumes. Unfortunately, I sort of, well, obviously got rid of them because there were so many. Um, and then Barbara, so I sort of had to cut something up. I looked at the, um, the dances and the music and God, I thought, <laughs> if I do that one, I shall, uh, I shall need the oxygen after I, <laughs> I don't think I'll manage that anymore. So, hope it goes all right. Uh, I used to do this with a lady. So, she was dressed up as the man, I was the lady, and it's um, a Lambeth walk. So, we used to have it in, you know, we're in black with all, um, you know, the, Pearl buttons on and everything. Uh, so we've got rid of it. So I've just had to crunch this up, and hopefully it'll it'll be all right. If it isn't, well, um, I have to put it down to lack of practice now. <laughs> Yeah, but because I'm not probably all right. <laughs> the idea of it um, When I got married to Neil, he's not here today because he's working in Lincolnshire. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Please join in. If you don't, Hannah's handed out some of the words. If you want to join in, um, <coughs> and this is where I get the right name. <laughs> Oh, 
Kelly's jig. Kelly's jig, okay, thank you. Because I just know in my head, uh, the, is, the first one's Kelly's jig, and the second one is Fox Hunter's jig. <coughs> Thank you. 
you all very much for coming and helping me celebrate. Oh, we haven't quite finished yet, don't we? No, don't run out of the room. We've oh, <laughs> still got a little bit more to go, yeah. Oh, my word. So, yeah. so can we have a hand again for Rob? That's uh, fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, I was chatting with one recently, just last week, and it struck us that everyone here is here through some connection to family, to music, to song and dance. And reflecting back on how that might possibly be, well, before she could talk, mum was singing along to her dad in his sort of deep, baritone voice. By the age of five, she was learning old time dancing. Do you mind? He was a full bass. Full bass. There oh, we go. Yes, very oh, yes, very cool. Yes, very cool. So, you know, full bass dad. Yes. <laughs> Uh, as a child, mum was involved with school choirs and then as a chorister and operatics and that sort of thing. And during her teenage years, mum was involved in modern dancing, which was the more freely moving foxtrot. Was modern? Uh, she was very busy out every evening, mainly at social events, treating the house like a hotel. <laughs> so my mother said. <laughs> she did understand, did she? <laughs> Uh, singing's always been important to mum. In fact, um, when they were courting with dad, he learnt all the accompaniments, accompaniments to mum's songs on the piano, which I hear is quite a feat. To accompany, yes. The accompany, yeah. And it was one of the many things which won a heart over. And having courted and married, they continued to share a lifelong passion for song, music and dance. First with the Scottish dancing for 20 years, as Keith mentioned, a big part of my life. I even have a kilt. <laughs> and um, well, they also played the Scottish dancers for 15 years. And I too have strong memories of Scottish dancing as a child. Uh, I hit a certain age where it wasn't washing so well, but <laughs> in the early years it was great fun. And it kept them busy on a Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to school events like Burns Night, I'm right in there. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they later moved over to English Folk Music Workshop by the Men's Morris Group that Dad joined. Um, this phase of music included various men family members like Sandra and many of you all. Rob. Rob, of course, yes. yes. I was going to name them all, but I thought I'd like Sandra. Yeah. <laughs> so many of you. Um, so something that struck me in all this chatting in Mums and Dad's marriage, which was very much of equals, with mutual to respect, a key part of their time together was really the participation and the creation and cultivation of friendships, of fun, social connections and support through the music and dance world. And the camping club folk section and dance section was a significant part of this too, where they're also sharing their great love of the outdoors as friends and family too. And I think that love of the outdoors is very much etched in my uh, being, my show and my children too. In these modern times, it's what could be called community music, and that means where everyone's welcome. You participate to the, de to the degree which you can, and being a part of something was more important than your skill level. Being no auditions, and everybody lifts up together. As my mum modestly said, I've had an ordinary life where interesting things have happened. Well, that's true. And she's become a bit of a history talking book. <laughs> And I was just trying to figure out what span of history this is. Well, as a child, she was talking with people, her older people she was hanging around with, were referring back to the 1920s. So in that direct oral tradition, mum is carrying 100 years worth of history. And it's some of the most fastest paced and dramatic periods in our modern history. So I've navigated those years and still the up to speed, mobile no phones, and up to something all the devices. <laughs> yeah. Keeping up with all that has been quite something. I'm particularly struck by Mum's ability to connect across all the generations, from the very youngest great grandchild to the oldest friend. And I know she's been a great support. She's entertained. She's listened to and told a good story to to so many friends and family. She probably has one of the widest networks of anybody I know and a positive influence has percolated far and wide and deep. Now there's been a lot of celebrations over the years, mostly run as Cayleys, where the guest list would count in the hundreds, and this is one of the smallest parties yet. 
But what a party. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a bit of reflection, really, of having got to 90 that. So there have been so many friends and families being unable to join us for various reasons. So I'd just like to take a moment to bring to mind those who are not present. Bring your mind their presence here today. They are welcome. And their influence for over the years is imbued in this gathering, even now. Let's just take a few moments and bring with this your special person to mind. I have wonderful friends. Thank you all. Ah, <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah, I'm back home again. That was a very long day. Um, but anyway, I think it was worth it. Mum had a lovely time. Um, so, don't really see parties like that anymore. So, everybody got involved, everybody helped sort out stuff, clear up, do food prep and things. And, um, you know, quite a few people got up and did a bit of entertainment. So, yeah, a real, real blast from the past, but in a kind of a nice way. So, um, yeah. But, yeah, it's like I'll be going back to work for a rest this week is all I can say. That was uh, quite a hectic one, um, especially with the additional funeral that uh, took Mum to on Friday as well. So a long-standing friend who I also knew um, back from when I was young. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, but yeah, it was a lovely day. Mm -hmm.